What's up guys, Rob from Legit Brandis Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Super Liminal. And uh, I checked the audio, everything seems to be okay. So we're going to continue on with our little adventure here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. Sick. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. It's the moon. Oh. Oh, there's something on the moon. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Oh, an Pierce. exit. <laughs> In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Or a psycho, or a nice guy. Beer fund, $5 from Dakota. Don't get lost, what if there's a fire in elevator? Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Don't meet sister-in-law. That's probably just good life advice. Seize the day. Other somniscope reporters are waiting for you. Oh, the French. Who know them for their excellence? Okay, goodbye. Whoa, that's a lot of loading. It's now 4 a.m. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, game. Uh, we'll get ourselves a diet soda this time. Green. Even though diet soda is garbage. Gigantic diet diet soda. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Me? Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor, P.S. will get through this March 1991. Uh, okay. Look at this old ass computer. Oh, hey, a dice. Don't mind if I do. No! Hey, a dice. Whoa, it's half a dice. That's odd. Come on, come on. Ah, you fuck. Do I need the other half? Yeah, I'd probably make like a staircase. There we go. Hello? Oh. Uh, okay, you stay there. You stay there, dice friend. <clears throat> Surely I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Time to die. Whoa. Get out of here, great. What's so great about you? Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Random soda. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Uh. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Okay, I'll kill myself with this can. Okay, it's not working. What the hell? What a funky set of dice. Can I pick these dice up from back here? Nope. Well, shucks, Batman. Ooh, another fire extinguisher. Damn it. Oh, this is... Yeah, okay. 
So remember when I said there's puzzles that are going to get me? This is one of them. God, I never remember how to do this particular puzzle. So I may need to... to <laughs> <laughs> to cut here. If I, I just end up taking too long. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it on the fly here. Because I need... To get up here somehow. How does that help me? Like that. <laughs> that's that's how that helps you. Now yeah, we got a couple of pumps out of that one. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks what? associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. <clears throat> so we're trying to make ourselves a little platform here. There we go. Ha ha, idiot. Okay, we have a dice. Fuck. Well, that actually kind of worked out actually. That may have exploded, but that actually just worked in our favor, so. What the? Okay. Whatever you say, game. Idiot. Emotions, expectations highly affect dreams. Dreams are layers of the mind. Tester so far, Jonah Dawson, Arthur Wilson, Jojo Smith, Bart. Blagoff? You are here. People are only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Okay. Feeling lucky? So are we. Opening weekend, December 12th, 7 p.m. at the Colliculus. Formal attire required. Loading, loading, loading screen. It's now 5 a.m. Shut up. <coughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness Bacon and soda. What have we done? Why do I feel like everything is going wrong? Even when the sun is shining. Oh, Jesus. That's kind of creepy. I don't like that. Baking soda is my only friend. That's a gigantic thing of baking soda. Good lord. Going through the tunnel of amazement. What did I just pick up? What's in here? What's it? Okay. All right. Chill. It's all right. I have a screwdriver. I don't have a screwdriver anymore. I've lost my screwdriver privileges. Murder, 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 beans. Beans. If I remember correctly, this section is all about like lighting and stuff, and like how tricky lighting can be at times. Uh, let me through. Let me through. Okay. Me 
Man, people always slamming doors and shit in my face. I don't want to go down to Red Murder Tunnel. Aha! Uh. Okay, not that way. Not that way. We'll go this way. Aha! I'm so smart, man. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Are you here to help, though? So it's pitch black as shit. So it says go this way. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental I tried. I tried to kill myself with the soda. Dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. <clears throat> I tried. I tried to fucking essentially dome myself with a soda can. Right. So where the hell do we gotta go? Oh, aha. Oh, li oh, the lighting. The lighting, it hurts my eyes. Oh, light buddy. Uh, mini soda. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How small this soda can is, dude. Well, now it's like normal size, but it was small. Oh. Another dead end. So I'm guessing that this wall. No, this wall is solid. Um, do we have to go up here? Oh, there we go. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? I'm this special. This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Well, screw you. I'm special. I get to do whatever the hell I want. Say Ikea. Oh, idea. Ha! <laughs> get it? It's funny. It's an Ikea joke. Funk. Oh. This whole time, it was just a restaurant. All right, well, you know, fair enough. They're trying to paint the walls. That's not blood. That's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Reading is for nerds anyway, dude. That's also a lot. No, there's an avocado. Oh. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh my god. So, sh stop it. No alarms. What the hell is that? Oh. Kind of looks like a face for a second. Do, do, do. Um, all right, we're down to water soda, which I'm guessing is just, you know, like seltzer. If you drink straight seltzer, by the way, with no flavor, that's, that's a crazy type of energy. 
Straight seltzer with no water or anything? Nah, fam. You're 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 tripping for sure. Oi. Stop. Oh. Oh, we can pick our song. Okay, so there's eight. We're gonna go with this one. I like the smooth jazz. Big fan, big fan. Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna break my computer. Well done. That's uh oh, for fuck's sake. How do we get out of here? <clears throat> there we go. Oi. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Oh, thank god. that high enough let's see oh yeah oh yeah my cursed is a smiley face that's so cute i completely forgot about that. that's adorable look at that little guy no bring back the smiley face oh um Right. God damn it. We need to like knock it off, I think. Go, go, go. You clown. Go. Come on. Oh my god, no. Go. Go, 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 go. Get off. Are you Josh me? Get off the thing. There we go. See you later, nerd. Some smooth jazz. Oh, apple overload! Okay. This one, I unfortunately remember the solution to, but this one tripped me up so bad the first time I played it. This one really got me. Yeah, you just do that. Originally, I was trying to, like, spam click it to get across quick enough, but as you can see, like, it just doesn't... And then you can like try to get it up the. You have to go try to get it up the staircase. And it just becomes like way too small for you to even do that. That <coughs> that one, that one got me for sure the first time I played. Warning: Doctor Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Make ourselves a little staircase here. Chess. 
That's still a lot of words. I'm still not reading them. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret what his the basic fuck? ideas. Oh, another machine. Hello. My introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Okay. Thanks for that. That's going to do it for this episode, guys, though. I hope you have been enjoying, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys again next time.